In this video, I'll be discussing my first attempt at making a video game, my progress so far, and what inspired me to make it. So let's get into it. preface this video I ought to tell you that at one point in the creative process I ended up completely deleting everything I'd made and starting again in a bit of a rage quit moment. So a lot of the features you're seeing are recreations of the kind of quality I was at and then in the second half of the video that's the game as it actually is. But it's important to show the kind of progress I was making rather than just showing the end product. In March 2020, I sat down at the kitchen table with my father as he expressed his frustrations to me. He had long been interested in video games and as a result, I had tried to get him into a few in the past with little success. It didn't matter if the game was on a PC or a console, they all required a level of multitasking and muscle memory that someone who had never played video games before just did not possess. As we talked, he told me about how he had tried to find a relaxing exploration game to decrease the stress and anxiety he was feeling but with little results. All the games he found would either begin to introduce drama or problem solving at some point in the game, which defeated the reason he was getting it, or else they would start introducing complex mechanics, making it hard for him to play the game at all. So I decided to make one for him myself, and started working on Zen, a calming, visually stunning game in which the player could explore an empty island. I loaded up Unreal Engine, and made some basic mountainous shapes before applying grassy, rocky and sandy textures to different parts of the island. I used a template for water in order to make the ocean and used a procedural generator to place down different kinds of rocks and trees around the island. It was at this point that I realised that an island by itself would be insufficient for the player to explore. It would end up being more of the same and there would be very little playtime available there. Luckily for me, Unreal Engine had just partnered with Bridge an online texture and model store, meaning that as long as I only used assets in Unreal Engine, I could use them for free. After browsing for a while, I found some photorealistic models of statues from Rome and was inspired to create the ruins of a lost civilization for the player to explore. I loaded up one basic model to use as a reference for when I came back to this feature. I then started putting roads and pathways across the island, interspaced with bits of fences and walls when I realised my current environment just wasn't going to cut it. The mountain and island didn't look realistic, and no surprise there, seeing as I had modelled it by hand. As a result of some unnaturally steep slopes, the roads were deforming the landscape and some of the rocks and trees were now floating in midair due to slight changes in the environment I had made. If that wasn't enough, I was also unhappy with the current sky dome and how fake the surrounding mountains in the distance looked. So I took what I had already made and started over. I went on to World Creator and created a way more realistic looking island landscape where the mountain actually fit into the rest of the island, before importing the height map into Unreal Engine. I then applied the same grassy beach and rocky textures as before, this time adding snowy and dry grass to the mix for some height variation. I altered the sky dome to create a dusky, dreamlike orange glow and added an atmospheric mist in place of the tacky mountains from before. I then tweaked various flat parts of the map adding some variation in rocks and height to bypass the repeating textures. Then, I took the default character that Unreal had given me and made it so that he would walk instead of run. I then encountered a small problem, as I wanted the game to be first person, but Unreal Engine's first person template does not allow you to see your own body. So I parented the third person camera to the player's head, made some tweaks so there was no clipping, and voila, I had a third person playable character. To finish it off, I added in some non-copyright calming music as a placeholder, and this is where I'm at so far.
For my next update, I'm going to completely redo the water surrounding the island so it reacts to the player and the player can take a boat out onto it. I'm going to model some ruins in Blender and add them to the map, as well as adding roads and paths to the island. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider liking or subscribing as I'm still growing the channel. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve the quality of my videos, or any suggestions for topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos, please comment them down below. I'll also be putting the link to my blog in the description of the video, where you can see exclusive interviews with game designers about their upcoming games that are not on the channel. Thank you.